Hello, hello, I'm making a video. And it is, I'm not laughing about anything other than myself right now. So, so because the subject of the video is rather serious. And, you know, I get up today, finally, at somewhere around 12, Paul comes into the room and he had already been on the internet and he said the first thing he tells me is that Ivana Trump had died I guess I don't know when she died or when that was but somewhere this month and she had fallen down the stairs at age 73 and she died from falling down the stairs I guess a very large stairs and that makes me very suspicious and and the very first thought that comes to my mind because I don't accept anything right away that anyone assesses on the internet at, that anyone declares as whatever situation or makes any kind of judgment on anything so you know judges are being paid all the time to come to a verdict in favor of the corporate agenda okay so They said this was just an accident or something, but I don't believe it, okay? I absolutely don't believe that. It looks to me like a hitman from the corporate agenda paid, maybe he was paid two million or three million dollars for this, okay? To go to Ivana Trump's house somehow get into her house, probably sneak sneak his way into her life, maybe even someone who is pretending to be a boyfriend or to, you know, maybe someone she even, maybe he even has dated her for a while, you know, maybe someone she trusted and knew but someone who had planned all along, you know, to push her down the stairs or even beat her to death and then push her down the stairs. And then they would also pay their way through, you know, to law enforcement and investigators and judge and so on in order to make a baby dog, <laughs> oh, baby dog, baby dog, no, oh boy, baby dog, he came running and he hit me in my breast, running from there, I didn't expect him to jump this high and hit me with his claw into my breast, that hurts, baby dog, baby dog, why do you have to do this, why, 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 why does baby dog do this kind of thing? Why, why? He got the paper. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! That is the paper that I put over the camera. Now it is all chewed up. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh baby dog. You have so much energy. That is just unreal. Oh man. I don't expect you to jump up like this. And hit me right in my breast. That's crazy is that. And jump right 
onto the computer. Oh man, boy. <laughs> now this is really hardcore. <laughs> oh, well, some people like a high energy dog. But for me, it's not exactly the right, the right kind of dog. But I still love him infinitely much. So, but I saved this here. I saved saved this from being completely torn and chewed up. Oh my goodness. So, but anyway, the corporate agenda. They hire people. They pay a lot of money to hit men and so on, you know, and they pay their way through for people to lie about things like judges and investigators and so on. And the reason this is what I believe, I don't know for sure, but this is what obviously, it's very obvious to me that the corporate agenda I probably hired a good-looking, big, strong hitman and paid him a couple of million dollars to creep his way into Ivana Trump's life, date her, make, make her trust him, and then either beat her to death or throw her down the stairs or you know club her or whatever and and kill her and then lay her in front of the stairs where she's then picked up by an ambulance I guess and then in, and then investigators or are looking into the case so it's also it's interesting how quickly these investigators come to the decision that there was no criminal activity involved in this okay very very quickly normally like in this country or in Germany normally there would be an investigation that will go on for like a month or two in cases like this, particularly in high profile persons cases like that. You know, they wouldn't be so quick to say, oh, this is a clear thing. She fell down the stairs at age 72. At age 90, or 73 at age 93 or 95 or 100 this is more believable you know that can happen it happened to my child therapist Annalise okay she was way over 90 when she fell down the stairs and she fell to her death that made her heart stop so but a woman of 73 they're not old enough for falling down the stairs and dying from that. So I strongly believe that she was deliberately murdered by a hitman. And the reason why they paid, that's what I believe, the reason why the corporate agenda paid that hitman to murder Ivana Trump is so that they can create a story that will make Donald Trump somehow in a roundabout way look bad to the public. They know how people function. They know how the public functions. They know how easily people are tricked into believing or hearing something they know how people don't even fully pay attention when they listen to something that they hear they know people are so sidetracked and they have so many other things going on in their lives that when they hear something like ABC News 
And I, I just watched a report about that from ABC News. And the way they word themselves. Whoa. You know, in the 80s or 90s in Germany, something like this, a report like this, would be against the law. Because, because of the way that reporter worded himself. He reported on Ivana Trump's falling, and then right afterwards, he said, he said, and it was, <laughs> this is how he said it, he verber, verbatim, and it was Donald Trump, and then he goes on to say, who was the first person to report about whatever this uh, on Twitter to his followers. So people who don't who only listen to something like this half ways, they hear and it was Donald Trump and whatever. Then their boyfriends are calling them over or whatever. And in their heads they think, oh, it was Donald Trump. So it is a very, very, very tricky and cunning and sneaky way of reporting something that is obviously, they are obviously paid to report on it in this specific way to make the public think that it was Donald Trump. I don't even want to say it, you know. I don't even want to put these words into my mouth at all. But that's how the reporters want people to get this. They want to get this like almost like a subliminal message. They want to funnel it into people's minds, you know. Later on when someone says, "Wait a minute, how can you report something like this that you make the public think or whatever then they all say no what do you mean we, we just reported on it you know just you must have misunderstood it or if someone calls them and says it was done you, you said it's it was Donald Trump and or and then turns out it wasn't so and then they all say no we never said that yeah. see it's a it's a rhetoric it's a form of of wording themselves where it has a psychological effect on people on most people who who don't listen to this very carefully or a lot of people who already have some kind of internal bias against Donald Trump because they have been systematically biased against him by the media already okay this has been going on for many 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 years because the corporate agenda is has summit meetings they figure these things out on how to turn the public against a specific person who may be an activist like Donald Trump and who stands in the way of their corruption of their fake money, the Rothschilds, they sit on empty money. You owe them m empty money, okay? And Donald Trump would be someone to blow the whistle on that. And he would at the end, at the, during the last half year of his legislation. After the second round of four years okay because then he knows he doesn't have there's no more work to do after that he has already done all the other the, the most important stuff first that needed to be done like the animal rights bill that needed to be signed the the park conservation bill that needed to be signed peace agreements world peacemaking agreements that saved our lives, okay, 
but the corporate agenda brainwashed the public and even famous actors I've talked to and I'm not going to mention the name now but I've talked to this one actor on Twitter and an actor I like you know I mean I think he's a good actor and, and he's funny I also think that he has compassion right but he is so he's so indoctrinated by the by the media that are so they are, they are so focused on indoctrinating the public and the Hollywood actors they're also afraid that they would not be hired anymore if they if they didn't jump on the corporate bandwagon so that's an additional incentive for him to just turn the blind eye on this enormous corruption that is going on and this particular slander movement that is going on against Donald Trump and against Elon Musk and against anyone who's compassionate. So they have been doing this for many, many, many years. Okay. The Clintons, Al Gore, they all had to suffer from the corporate agendas, slander attempts. This has been going on for over 20 years. Okay, so really, this is really serious. Okay. Donald Trump is an amazing person. And Ivana Trump was an amazing person. This needed to be said. I feel deep, deeply, deep, deeply sorry. And I feel deep compassion for the Trump family in this situation, okay? And I do not, I can, I, I, I would not ever, I would, could not ever, I could not ever be in some kind of higher legislative official office chair position whatever and or be in a family like this and and just live my life as good as I guess as good as they can they they live their lives as best as possible in this situation they make the best out of every day I try to I could not possibly live like this where I have to watch my back all the time, you know, where I have to, I have to be guarded, you know, these people, they are followed, they are observed, they are threatened, there are murderers that are out there on the loose, hitmen, corporate hitmen that are after Donald Trump that are after the whole Trump family. These people have to live in fear, okay? I don't see how anyone could manage their lives as good as they can in that situation. And as strong as they are, even they are probably getting very afraid, you know? And it makes them suffer and it is so unfair when they are trying to make the world a better place, they really are, okay? These things have to be said, and I guess I'm, I may be the only person in the world, I, it seems like it, who says these things in this straightforward way. I see some people praising him, but they don't really go to, to, the, really, to the core of this. I follow the, the conversations on Twitter. I see what's going on. Yeah, so there's a lot of spam bots on Twitter. Bill Gates has a lot of spam bots to slander people. I think 
Elon Musk has already kicked these many of these Bill Gates spam accounts out but Elon Musk <coughs> is not given enough legislative power on Twitter even though he has the highest share he's not given the legislative power because the other people the other shareholders are corporate infiltrators and they work for the corporate agenda and they know they they had they they got a hold on on twitter they know how influential twitter is on the world and on people's minds that's why elon musk wants to buy it and they won't let him buy it they refuse to sell it to him Be, for no money they will not sell it to him for any money they try to they try to trick as much money out of him as they could it makes me also really mad and then they would not give him the legislative voice you know he should have the most say with the most shareholding in this but they don't allow him they don't accept they don't they don't even allow him on on their panel of decision makers not even that when he has the highest share in twitter all of this makes me incredibly mad but i know what's going on it's the corporate agenda they have their their infiltrators in there okay that's what's going on you know the truth is really harsh in the in the united states the United States is basically run and owned by the corporate agenda and the corporate agenda is one with the mafia that's one it's one and the same thing okay the mafia is just the shadow underground of it that's all it is okay the corporate agenda is that is consists of the large corporations that 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 will create some kind of facade image to the public on the outside that's just a facade what's really going on behind closed doors with with those corporations like Lockheed Martin Boeing the world banks Rothschild family banks i don't know Morgan Chase all of the banks i w- i would say all of them are in it with all of this they're all in it that is my rough estimate i don't think i i don't i don't think they would even they they would gang up on a bank that is fair to people to the public yes yeah, it's a good so he has his he has two bones there i mean shoe two bones and forms of tree branches and that's very very good for dog dogs particularly dogs that are really ferocious chewers like like he is like the like the bull all the bulldog mixes are the stuffy dogs are the stuffy dogs they the very 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 strong chewers and they will chew all kinds of things So that's why I recommend tree branches for them. So that's the best. That's the healthiest for them. So, yeah, the corruption is absolutely incredible in the United States, but worldwide, okay? It is incredibly horrific. And I'm deeply concerned about this, and I don't know what the future is going to bring with all of this. I see a lot of people they just fall hook line and sinker for the propaganda of all of this and they identify with it because that's what the corporate agenda does they study people very very carefully they know which demographic identifies with certain things with their demographic specific things and then they use that and they just attach something else onto it that they want people to incorporate into their minds okay like going against Donald Trump or 
like race division, racism on all sides, um, more race hatred to the point of where people are literally sick against each other and so on. The corporate agenda, they, they trust me, they will do anything to get their way even if they cause division in their own country or even a world war. They don't care if that, if that moves things their way where they can keep their empty money going, where they can keep selling their weapons to the U.S. military. They have a customer for life with that. They have weapon manufacturing market perpetuations production perpetuations they don't they don't want to stop that no matter what it does if it kills the whales internally they won't stop it and I tried really hard for so many years to stop that to bring awareness to this for so many years that's how I got into politics, because of active sonar, because that bothered me so much. And also the military, what they're doing to, to dogs in the military bioweapon testing facility in New Mexico, what they're doing to dogs there. Donald Trump, he was the only one who was willing to sign this really important bill that would be nationwide to stop, to prevent this kind of horrific torture that, that they're doing to animals. And I don't even know how far this is reaching into this or whether they have already blocked that off through clauses and loopholes, I mean the opposition of it. So, but Donald Trump, at least, you know, the, the animal rights groups have fought for many years, for decades, on getting that signed. And nobody before Donald Trump was willing to sign it, whether they, they were Republican or Democrat. Because they were all either on the take or they were afraid that, you know, they, they would be voted out or whatever and some of them were on the tape take such as Barack Obama yeah. so it's the truth I'm just reporting on the truth here you know we need to look at who these people are okay and not be deceived by all of this and and let them puppeteer us around on our own emotions and our own ego identifications so this is really important that people start thinking for themselves. Because if you did, if you did think for yourself, they wouldn't have any more mind power on you at all. They could not have any power over you. They could not be using these kind of identifications anymore if you stopped all of this. Okay, so... I feel infinitely sorry for what happened to Ivana Trump. I believe it was murder. I believe the corporate agenda is behind this. Okay, anyway, peace and love. Take care.